The Raiders are in a fight for first place in the Eastern Division as they prepare for the second half of the 2015-16 hockey season. If you asked any member of the Raiders staff if they'd be happy with that at the beginning of the year, the answer would be a resounding yes. Although happy, head coach Mark Habscheid still isn't satisfied. We're trying to raise banners and raise trophies above our head, and I think to do that, you have to learn some lessons. And if you win a game 7-1, there's not a lot of lessons you can learn there. But when you go through uh, some times when it's not easy, you, as difficult as it is, you need to embrace those times and learn a lot through those times. 18-year-old forward Matteo Gennaro is an example of what the Prince Albert Raiders have gone through in the first half. Although happy with his game, he is not satisfied, saying that he's had to adjust to playing two positions. You know, individually, I mean, I, I think I had a bit of a slower start, but, um, you know, I'm happy that my game is coming along now, and I'm, I'm still learning a lot of things and, um, you know, adjusting to playing different you know, um, the wing and, you know, center, and um, I think uh, it's been a work in progress, but, uh, you know, I'm getting really close to playing the style I want to play. 20-year-old centerman Jordan DeCatch scored his 50th career goal in his 300th career game during the first half. He says, although the milestones are nice, succeeding as a team is the goal. We obviously started off really good as a team, and uh, we kind of went through a couple slumps, but uh, I think it just built character as our team, and uh, things might not be going our way, but I think we'll turn it around in the second half. And personally, I, I think uh, team success gives, leads to personal success, so it's kind of how I've been going with it. As veterans, both Takach and Gennaro have noticed there's a different mental makeup to this year's Prince Albert Raider team. Like I said, we kind of put ourselves in a higher position, so uh, I think teams are looking at us and wanting to beat us, so that's a little more that we got to take, and it's obviously a good thing. Uh, when you're the team that people want to catch, it's a good thing, but it's also you have to bring it every night, and there's no days off. Mark and Dave um, and Kelly have really um, prepared us this year, especially. Um, you know, they all have, you know, won when they've played, so they all have insight as to, you know, what we need to do, and um, how we need to, you know, approach every day. So, I mean, uh, they prepare us really well. So, I mean, yeah, I think our team is um, a lot more prepared this year. And, um, you know, we know that we can do a lot with uh, the group of guys we have. So we're determined to. The team has faced its fair share of adversity, including a three-game losing streak and dropping four straight games at home just before the break. But Habscheid says they are valuable learning experiences. Well, I think we want to be a team that can be more multidimensional, um, a team that has more evenly scoring throughout the lineup if, if possible. It's, if you have a couple of key players that can, other teams can look at, eventually they may find ways to shut them down. So you need your depth and your um, depth of your roster to come through. If the Raiders can ride the momentum of a very good first half and take the lessons learned from the adversity they've experienced, the second half of this 2015-16 hockey season should be a wild ride indeed. For Seagas Inside Edge, I'm Drew Wilson.